Hey everyone, welcome to our next adventure, this one right here. We have been riding around today in our Winnebago Travada van in the Smoky Mountains. Now we are headed to a place many of you have asked us to check out, and that is Little Arrow Outdoor Resort in Townsend, Tennessee. We're going to be camping there tonight, me, Mike, and Big T. We're excited. Come along with us. We had to stop in here. We forgot some butter. Karen's running into the marathon. It's the marathon sits in between the KOA in Townsend and Little Arrow. Because so we're going to make some smash burgers tonight. One of our favorites. Here we go. Little Arrow. It's kind of cool how you cross the river here. Mm -hmm. I like your sign up there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's like you're going to a ranch or something. Little Arrow. Outdoors. All right, what number are we in? A38. We're supposed to go straight to our site and then go to the office. And That's B and C. You see A? Must be this way then. That's the only other choice. It says A loop to the right. Yeah. I mean, that's the only other choice. Look at that teepee up there. The playground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Store and office. Got big bears and big food. <laughs> Pool. Oh, people are in the swimming pool. 838. Here's our spot. 838. 838. Isn't this nice? Okay, let's watch him back this thing in. Pretty cool view, isn't it? Yes, we're going to be eating dinner right there. Is that? This is how we found our dinner spot. Yeah, well, they wouldn't want to eat dinner right there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, somebody had their charcoal grill on the table, didn't they? There's a fire pit. Yeah. Are these those yurt things? Yeah, it's kind of, kind of like yurt. a yurt, mm -hmm. something, another. Yeah, they have several of these through here, don't they? Look yeah. at that. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, welcome again to Little Arrow Campground. And we're going up to get our uh, check-in stuff, I guess. Yeah, it's supposed to be at a ba in a basket yep. in front of the store door. And we'll show you guys around as much as we can here tonight before it gets dark. A little climb. I got some cabins, yurts you saw there. We'll show you. Cabins all over the side of the hill here. Mm -hmm. That's a little tiny home there. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Look at the Sasquatch here, King. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See the bear? Yeah. Bear up on top there. In Little Arrow, you have to be friends with the bear. Yeah. There's another little tiny home you can rent. The way those are decorated and designed. Mm-hmm. I think I like those better than any we've seen. You mean tiny homes? And campgrounds and stuff, yeah. It was a teepee. Look at that Swedish torch. Hmm. My address is, there you go. Wi Fi is free in our 24 7 point and feather coffee lounge to your left. I think we may be in trouble again. We don't have firewood. If Alan crossed Friday, Friday. there we are. Okay. Right here is a map of the campground. You can see here is the. Uh, Swimming and hot tub. Okay. Women's bathhouse and laundromat. Who's the laundromat? Okay, this is Pocahontas right here. Look at that. No pets allowed in the pool. All right, to get us some firewood. <laughs> Successful. 
I went into the Pocahontas bathing, bathhouse while we were here. It's really nice, but you don't have like a private sink and everything, shower to yourself. All in one is what I mean. All in one inclusive. But there's a really nice sink in there and stalls and shower stalls. <laughs> Did you miss us, buddy? Huh? That time. We're camping. I say we put the awning out. Some lights on. There we go. Okay, so the grill is up and running. Now we just gotta clean it. Let it warm up and clean it off with some water. Okay, she's got everything ready to go. Some butter going here. So it's um, smashed burgers and pre-sliced can of potatoes. White potatoes. White potatoes with, um, what season is it we use, you Montre ask? Montreal steak season. On our hamburgers, potatoes, just about everything, don't we? Yes. I already pre-seasoned them some, but they may need more. Or we might want to keep it lighter. Okay, somebody's getting hungry. You working on it? Yes. Uh, I forgot a little olive oil. That'll help get these things cooking. Why can't you remind me? <laughs> We're a good team. Yeah. <laughs> it's cooking good. Y'all might be surprised tonight with what I'm drinking. I'll tell you this, it's not a Diet Coke. Check this out. Boy's eating. Look at him, he's going to town. Is that good? Huh? So I got an idea. What do you think our folks ought to do? I think if you like fried potatoes, you ought to at least hit that thumbs up. What do you think? Yeah. There you go. If you like smash burgers, you should probably subscribe. Because we like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. That time to put them smash burgers on here, so stick around. <laughs> Burger there. Pull the potatoes over to the side. We'll make one pretty big one here. Are you not there? <laughs> put that right there for just a second. I want to put some butter down. I can't even want that big. <laughs> You go right there. You big boy, you go right there. So we let that first side of that ball sear really good. Then we come over here and smash them down. Take this little, little turn. Oh, I'm out here. Got to eat the flippy burgers. How these potatoes, do you try them? Yeah, good. Good. Give him a flip. Mmm. There we go. Touch of this. We're just about ready to eat, folks. Oh, yeah, you got us a place sitting up right here, don't you? Yeah, this is our view. Look at that, the demon. Love it. Popping my spin. Just right here? Yeah. <laughs> That's what you call a big old smash burger right there. Clean yeah. this up a little bit real quick. And we'll be ready to eat. Dinner time. Potatoes. Can you open it for me? No. <laughs> Sometimes you have to use your teeth. Oh, I can't wait. God, thank you so much for this afternoon and for this meal. Amen. Mm. Good. Mm. Got mustard, ketchup, and spinach on mine. And I know I've cooked potatoes, but I don't know where they're at. Right here. Show everybody what you're drinking. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah, while Karen's gone, I'll show you. It's um, Milo's Zero Calorie Sweet Tea. Go figure. Let's see if this is any good. That is good. It's not real, real sweet. I'm not sure whether she wants us to pull the potatoes out of here and put them on our plate, or we can just kind of eat out of this together is what I'm thinking. Put a little ketchup on our plate. Okay. That sounds like a good plan. Mmm. Mmm. Are they good? <laughs> Oh, folks, I wish you could be here with us. <laughs> this view, smash burgers. Y'all know I love meat and potatoes. <laughs> this is my weakness right here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exceptional.
Ain't nothing better. Not out here camping. I like a good hot dog. Here's chili, but smash burger, that's hard to beat. It's got good meat. As always, we kind of showed you around the campground a little bit. We did get some firewood, which we'll get a fire going here in a little bit. Then we're just gonna chill out. Great spot here, mm -hmm. the river. Relax. Busy week, work week for us, and yeah. this is really nice to be able to relax. Even mm -hmm. for just one night, because we're just here one night. And I brought you some marshmallows, so. Have Who knows? We may just go for a marshmallow. Catch them on fire. <laughs> like always, right? Finishing up eating, I was just sitting here thinking, you know, that is a pretty view, but what if a bear comes down that hillside? That'd be wild, wouldn't it? Smell our smash burgers. Across the creek and right up here, jump up on the picnic table and say, howdy, <laughs> how do you do? My name is Johnny Cash. Well, Bigfoot might, Bigfoot might be looking too. That's right, maybe. Well, what'd you think? It's great. I'm getting full though. Neither yeah. one of us can finish them. <laughs> Didn't finish them, but uh, yeah, it's a really good meal. Really good. Mm -hmm. Delicious. So we're going to do a few things around here and then we'll get a fire going. Yeah. Big T, he thinks it's bedtime. You cleaning it up? Yes. I'll put that there. I'll put that there. Uh, thanks. It is a really nice uh, campsite. The patio is kind of stamped, laid. Fire pit's really nice also, and you can cook there if you'd like, griddle. It seems like, to me, the fireplace would be better out here, maybe because, I guess because there's trees here, and they wanted to keep it. But yeah, I noticed on the one back here behind, as you can see, the fire pit's close to the little patio here. It's my favorite right there. Yeah, here we are. And I think I will make a marshmallow. So, what's your thoughts so far about the pink ground here? I like it. It's really nice. I love the spot with the little roof top over our picnic table down, you know, by the river. And this is a nice fire pit. Yeah, it's a really nice top end campground, I would say. It is. Which, by the way, before we leave in the morning, we'll give you all of our thoughts about it. Yes. Um, we have one concern. We'll be sharing that with you tomorrow. But uh, for tonight, we're glad we're here. Yes. <laughs> Just outside of the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. And I don't know if there's any better place to be. No, nope, it just doesn't get any better than this. No. <laughs> Big T, he's getting used to these campfires. He likes. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> we'll trouble getting those out, didn't we? Wouldn't be a campfire. Might think and catch marshmallows on fire. No. And the weather's been great, you guys. It's been. It's a little windy, but. Yeah, it's been warm during the day. Uh, pretty warm. A lot warmer yesterday, but today was in the 70s. So here tonight, it's still just probably 60s, you know. So not as cold as it has been the last few times we've been camping, right? Right. <laughs> Windy is all. They said maybe like a chance of a thunderstorm at 8, but that must have passed us up. <coughs> we haven't had one. <laughs> no. Did I mention how good those smash burgers are? <laughs> Several times. cooking what's left of those right there. <laughs> Big T, he's just along for the 
for the ride as usual. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what if we did this tonight? Uh, maybe when you go on vacation or a trip to the mountains or to the beach or wherever it is, what brings you the most enjoyment? Uh, is it things like, well, if you're retired, this wouldn't matter to you, but uh, you don't have to go to work for a few days or a week. Is it that you're going to eat some good food? Um, that you're going to rest? You don't have to punch a clock? Put down in the comments, you know? Yeah. Like for me, example, I had kind of a hectic end to my work week. So I was so looking forward to us making adventures this weekend, going on adventures and filming and smoke's going. <laughs> so Driving I, a crazy. I was texting Mike yesterday afternoon at work saying, Woohoo, it's almost five. <laughs> yeah. Almost so, quitting time. So sometimes it's nice to have things to look forward to like trips. Yeah, because our weeks do get hit, don't they? Months, years. Yeah. I'm trying to cook off the I don't think I'm going to have any more because of big dinner. You all understand what I mean? <laughs> big dinner. Anyway, what were we talking about? The, um, but one thing I did want to say about that too, about looking forward to trips and stuff. One thing we have to be careful of, and I, my daughter and I have talked about this, our daughter and me. Uh, at the same time, we don't want to wish our life away. I think we're meant to work, and there's nothing wrong with working. Right. I, I wish we could all enjoy it more, but unfortunately we don't. But That's why we say do what you love if you can. Do what you love and love what you do. And I do love my job. Yeah. I do love my job. And I really love now. Of course, being a pastor for 25, 30 years in ministry, you know, I love doing that too. And I guess that's why we enjoy just getting to meet many of you all while we're out. Plus, online and through the comments, and even though we can't get back to everybody, but we really do enjoy that. Yeah, like a little community, yeah. Mm -hmm. That we can lift each other up in prayer and encourage each other. Yeah, so that's great. And I do love what I do. Yeah. And I love writing and blogging and speaking uh, but because you know you can have kids who say I can't wait until I'm in school and then older kids who say I can't wait until I'm in high school I can't wait until I graduate I can't wait until I get married <laughs> yeah. I can't wait and it, if you think about it it's kind of like wishing our life away for time to come too fast Time already seems to go by too fast. Yeah, it does. <laughs> so we don't want to wish our life away, but we want to yeah. enjoy the moment. And enjoy the journey. And enjoy and I, the journey. I think it's great that you plan ahead. And uh, we met up with uh, some friends of the channel a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And they were telling us that they look so forward to coming to the Smoky Mountains. That's their vacation. And they save all year long. And what they do is yeah. they buy up ahead of time, like they know they're going to eat at certain, certain place, they'll buy um, gift cards to those places and they, yeah. they've already got all that. So they're planning ahead. And we know that you look forward to, you know, the old Eddie Money song, everybody's working for the weekend. <laughs> well, And the weekends are nice to be able to go on adventures and plan the, things. And many of you tell us you can't wait to get back to the Smokies or visit Western North Carolina or yeah. some of the places that we review or suggest. That's why Fridays are forever. It's yeah. working for the weekend. And we hope that you all, many of you, get to check out the places that we bring you in our content. Yeah, if it looks like something you would enjoy, then it'd be awesome. Make your own memories, yeah. yeah. So be encouraged as you're working toward uh, your vacation time and other things going on in the seasons of your life. Yeah. Uh, we're going to kick back and enjoy a fire for a little while. And yeah, we're going to be in the moment right now, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> the big T. He's sacked out. Get him.
Hey guys, we keep forgetting to mention to y'all that we do have a Smoky Mountain Planner that we put together. It's um, on Amazon. I think it's like six, seven bucks maybe, something like that. It's a little travel planner, but um, it's blank and it's got place for you to take notes and plan your um, trip. Smoky Mountains are really wherever you're going. Oh, it's for notes. There's actually a place for prayer list. Final planning tracker you can see right there. To-do list while you're planning. It's got uh, places places you want to visit there. Yeah, pick that up on Amazon. The link's down in the description if you'd like to have one. <laughs> well, good night everybody. We're turning in. See you in the morning. everybody got a little drizzle here this morning a little cool here in the Smokies got some traffic headed into Cades Cove just sitting here enjoying a cup of coffee watching the river come by wishing that every morning could be this way Cup of coffee, river, and the Smoky Mountains. Well, welcome to breakfast here on the river yes. this morning. Now, we cooked the great smash burgers and sliced potatoes last night. And we're just mixing it up. We don't have to cook up a fancy breakfast every morning when we're camping, right? All right. We got some blueberry muffins. And cereal. Honey nut Cheerios. Mmm. And frosted mini wheats. And some good old milk. So we slept good last night, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Big T got us up early. <laughs> he did. Sometimes sometimes he's like that, you know, mm -hmm. he gets a little restless and Yeah. Um, he had to go out and then we finally just fed him. He wasn't going to have anything until he ate. <laughs> That's true. I'm telling you, what a pretty view. Mm -hmm. You saw maybe the earlier footage. I was out here real early, just sitting here watching the river come by with some coffee and the traffic going that way into toward Cades Cove. People are going early and that's the time to go, isn't it? Yes, You're going to Cades Cove, for sure. I think I'm just going to eat my muffin out of this. Oh, yeah. Mmm. That's really good. We'll go ahead and pour milk on my cereal because I don't, I like it a little salty. <laughs> Most people aren't like that, but I'm crazy. I'm not crazy, I'm just different. I like mine a little soggy too. You do? Okay. So I guess we could go ahead and tell you folks about um, our thoughts about the campground. Mm -hmm. While we're eating breakfast here, and kind of take turns. I'm going to tell you, this is a nice place. Mm -hmm. It really is. And you pay for it. So, mm -hmm. we're off season, but you guys can go online and check it out. I love the sites. Mm -hmm. All of them are spacious. And yes. I guess just about anywhere anymore, including Maggie Valley, Cherokee, yeah. all those places. The sites can be right on top of one another. I know, it drives... It, it really is crazy when people are that close together in a campground. The thing I like about here is there's a lot of space in between them, like, right. like, like we said. And, and I like this this whole covered thing with the picnic table. It does make it nice. Even though we've got an awning, we had some rain this morning. We just Yeah, left. so it's nice to just be sitting here. Like if it was raining right now, we could still be here. Unless it was blowing rain, right? Yeah, a let's, storm. let's try these honey nuts. Good. Look, 
that muffin's really good. Mm -hmm. And what Mike was saying about paying for it, so you, in the pricing, you pay for your campsite, and then you pay another fee for all the amenities. Yeah, so what you see online when you're looking for a site, it may not be, it's not gonna be the ending price. So you need to remember that and call them and say, hey, I'm looking at such and such site for this date. Mm -hmm. what's, what's the price of that? and say, well, what additional fees do you have? You do this with really any campground. This is called Little Arrow Outdoor Resort, and it really is a resort. There are a lot of amenities here. There's like a really nice pavilion. There's a self-serve coffee cafe lounge. Yeah, swimming pool, hot tub. Mm -hmm. And the self-serve <laughs> lounge and cafe for coffee or I guess they have hot chocolate. I didn't really look, go over there and look. That's where you can have free internet. Wow. And the firewood worked out really good. We came in late last night or later than after the office was closed. And so I left a number. I just called them and said, look, it's on an honor system. You can pay there or use a code or pay in the morning. And so we're going to stop and pay on the way out. Mm -hmm this morning for that. The Travado is working great. Um, it did get a little cool last night. We had just a little bit of heat on, not much at all. Other than Big T wrestling around some this morning, we slept great. It's quiet in here. Yeah. Uh -huh. And as you know, nothing beats the river, but really any spot in here would be nice because you're usually going to be on the go when you're here. Yeah. My frosted mini weights are good. This is a popular campground, so if you're thinking about staying, you definitely want to uh, get it scheduled. Get it on the calendar. And, um, you know, it sits right across the river from the KOA in Townsend, mm -hmm. which we loved also. So I think mm -hmm. either one of these campgrounds would be great. This one definitely is more expensive. Mm -hmm. um, yes. A little bit different feel mm -hmm. from a resort to a KOA. KOAs have, kind of have their own feel if you stay at them, you know. Yeah, and we love KOAs. Yeah. And we like that KOA. Yeah. I would say this is falls closer to a Smoky Mountain feel mm -hmm. than a resort feel. Yeah. Like um, when we stay there, Margaritaville and yeah, Pigeon Forge. Yeah, it's something like that. That was pretty much a total resort feel, wasn't it? Right. That really is its own experience. You can't really compare it to anything else. <laughs> now we will say this about the Wi-Fi, and mm -hmm. we know that we can't figure it out. <laughs> We, we understand the thought process behind you're on vacation or you're doing what we do. You want to unplug, right? Yeah, you want to unplug, and that's understandable. So it's no big deal, but they with their package materials here, only one device gets free Wi-Fi a day for, yeah. for one day. Yeah. And then other than that, it's $3 per device. Is that per day? Mm. We don't know. But even at that, I could, even when I connected with the instructions, I could not keep it on. You know, so like, I really wanted to do something with work on the server, but I couldn't. So, which is no big deal. It can wait till Monday, right? Everything can wait till Monday. It and, wasn't urgent. And I'm sure they would have been glad to help us and we just wanted to enjoy it. The yeah. thing is, some people like us, we work through the week, and, we, and a lot of times we'll take off, and if you know I'm a real estate photographer, sometimes I'll bring photos with me that I still need to edit, and it makes it hard to get some of those things done, and then, on top of that with the YouTube channel, we're constantly you know, uploading stuff to, to mm -hmm. the different places, and... Social media, yeah. So that makes it difficult also. Mm -hmm. but, Anyway, enough about that. But we'll chalk it up again until we don't know what we're doing. We could, you can always walk over to the lounge and do whatever you had to do. And they had some really comfortable chairs and a nice seating area in there. So the question is, would you come back? Yeah, I would come back. I'd definitely come back here. Mm -hmm. Nice place. Yes. Good location. So, Well, thanks again guys for watching. We really appreciate everybody uh, on our channel. All the comments, you're so kind. Yes. 
one of the reasons we get out and do this is to show East Tennessee, Western North Carolina. That's right. If you haven't subscribed and you've watched this far, you might want to do that, especially if you like adventures like this. Yes, we'd love to have you. Big T wants you, don't you, Big T? Yeah. Come on, guys. I want you. <laughs> but yeah, we've really enjoyed our stay here. Thanks for coming along on this another adventure. Yep. Appreciate everybody. Until next time on Fridays. Forever. Bye, Goodbye, everyone. Everybody.